Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about two different Koenigsegg exhaust patents that allow them to run crazy high horsepower engines over a thousand horsepower and yet still remain emissions compliant. Now a big thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. We'll get more into that at the end of the video but know that there is a link to check out in the video description. Now, in order to understand these Koenigsegg patents, there's a bit of a logic train that we need to take. So we're going to start at the very beginning and then work our way through. So the whole idea of an exhaust system, that exhaust pipe from your engine, is that you need to get those spent exhaust gases from your engine and out and away from the car so that you can bring in new air, new fuel, and continue to make good power. Well, the problem is this exhaust has some bad gases in it, some harmful emissions that aren't good for our health. But humans are very clever. We're not going to let that stop us. We want to have some fun with some cars. So we designed this thing called a catalytic converter, and it helps get rid of those bad gases, many of those bad gases that are going out that exhaust. Okay, well, the problem with this catalytic converter now is that it creates a restriction. So ideally, you would just have a straight pipe exhaust where your exhaust comes out, and then it just travels through the ideally designed exhaust pipe diameter and out the back. This gives you the minimum restriction and allows you to make the most power. Unfortunately, that is not emissions legal, so it's not going to help out with those bad gases that the exhaust is creating. And if you're a manufacturer that's trying to sell cars to the public, that's not going to work. So you have to come up with something in order to prevent it. So manufacturers use catalytic converters within the exhaust. Well, they use a pre-cat and a main cat. There's two different catalytic converters here in this system that I've drawn. And the reason being is that this main cat isn't effective until it's at operating temperature. So let's say you just started your car. Everything's cold. The exhaust is cold. So all those harmful emissions are just passing right through that catalytic converter. They're not being converted and they're just going out into the atmosphere. So we're trying to prevent the bad emissions before this thing has gotten warm. And so what manufacturers do is they put a pre-catalytic converter that's closer to the exhaust manifold. It's got that dense core that the exhaust gases have to pass through. And as a result, it gets out some of those harmful emissions on startup. So it's not the best thing in the world. It doesn't solve all the problems. And until this is at operating temperature, it's basically just as good as we can get. So it's gonna help reduce emissions at startup for that short duration where your engine is cold. Once the engine is warm, this main catalytic converter is really gonna do the work and it's very effective at converting those harmful emissions, those nitrogen oxides. And so this can be sized whatever size you want. If you need a thousand horsepower engine, no problem. You make the catalytic converter bigger, you can make do uh, with a catalytic converter whatever power you want. That's used in rally car, it's used in supercars, it's used in these thousand horsepower Koenigseggs. So it's, you're able to do it. The problem is this pre-catalytic converter right here. This is what's going to create a restriction even once we're at operating temperature. Now all we need is this main catalytic converter, but we still have this small dense pre-catalytic converter acting as a restriction on our system and causing us to lose horsepower. That's obviously not good, so we need to do something about that. Now, before we can get into the solution, Koenigsegg wants to make big power. And to do so, they're using turbochargers. So we need to add a turbocharger to the mix here. And that gives us really two options that you'll see most manufacturers using as far as where do they place that pre-catalytic converter. They can place it before the turbocharger or after the turbocharger. Now, if they place it before, that's ideal for the pre-catalytic converter because it means it's getting those hot exhaust gases immediately out of your exhaust manifold, but then it's creating that restriction before your turbo, and it's also taking some of the energy before it reaches the turbo. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to spool up that turbocharger. It's not going to react as quickly. So it's not really ideal to use this method. So you place the pre-catalytic converter after the turbocharger. That way your turbocharger gets those exhaust gases immediately and you get good response from the engine. Unfortunately, this turbocharger takes away some of that heat because it's converting that energy from the exhaust into useful work to create boost for this engine. And so because it's dropping the temperature of the exhaust, that means it's gonna take even longer to heat everything up and even longer to heat up your pre-catalytic converter. So your pre-catalytic converter is going to receive cooler exhaust and it's not going to be as effective at eliminating those emissions. Now, either way, uh, you have to choose one of these if you're going to make this great emissions compliant engine with a turbocharger. And either way, you're going to have the restrictive pre-catalytic converter, which means you're basically going to reduce your maximum capability of boost. 
And another thing that this does uh, that may not be quite as simple to see just looking at this is this pre-catalytic converter is going to cause back pressure within this exhaust, which is going to build up the pressure between the turbo and the exhaust. And in doing so, it's going to force some of that air that's trying to come out of the engine to remain in that engine. And because that hot exhaust remains in the engine, it's going to increase the cylinder temperatures. You're going to have hot EGR, uh, which isn't good, so you can't use those gases for combustion, and they're heating up that cylinder, so you're gonna have more likelihood for running into engine knock. As a result, you get less boost, and as a result, you have to pull timing, and you make way less power. So the sad thing about putting the pre-catalytic converter in either of these locations is you're ultimately going to lose power. So how does Koenigsegg get around this? So Koenigsegg's very first patent, which I believe was in 2004, was the Rocket Cat, which was used in the Koenigsegg CCR. Now, we're looking at here a zoomed-in version of this pre-cat and this main catalytic converter. And so what's going on is you have your flow, it comes in, and it passes through this pre-catalytic converter, which is held within this chamber that has a path around the pre-catalytic converter that the exhaust could also flow. Now at low flow, your flow is always going to take the path of least resistance. So at low flow, it's just gonna simply go in here. This isn't all that restrictive because you don't have all that much exhaust flowing in and it's how this design forces the air to flow. So it comes in this pre-catalytic converter, travels out and then travels through the main catalytic converter. So you get the benefits of that pre-catalytic converter at low flow. Now when you're at very high flow, when you step on the gas and you want to make full horsepower, well there are other alternatives for the exhaust to go through this. So instead of being forced to all only go through that pre-cat, some of that exhaust gas will also go out and around the pre-cat and then to the main catalytic converter. So you open up the amount of space that that has, the exhaust has to flow around this pre-catalytic converter and in doing so you reduce the restriction. It just takes that path of least resistance and you're able to make more power. Now the beautiful thing about this system and their first patent is that there's absolutely no moving parts to it. It's extremely simple. It's always going to work. It just passes through. It's a static system that you don't have to worry about things kind of falling apart or moving parts rubbing against each other and wearing out. You just have that flow go through it and then off you go. And Koenigsegg says they're able to get over a hundred horsepower increase uh, by using this system versus using a system like this that is very restrictive. Now it's not this system that's creating horsepower. It's the fact that you're reducing a restriction. So this is taking away horsepower. This is allowing you to keep the horsepower that you are making. So finally we get to a 2011 patent of Koenigsegg's used on the Agera RS. And so this engine is producing 1160 horsepower, crazy high power levels. Obviously you need an exhaust that is not that restrictive. And so the very clever thing they did with this exhaust system is they incorporated bypass valves. And so your exhaust comes out and when you first start your car and you know, you're not making all that much power, your engine's cold so you don't want to run it hard yet, uh, while you're first starting up that car, then the the exhaust is going to be closed off from the turbocharger and instead forced to route a different direction through the pre-catalytic converter, bypassing the turbocharger, and then through the main catalytic converter. Now you might be wondering, well wait a minute, what if I want power from the get-go? Well first of all, you shouldn't be driving your car really hard until the engine's warmed up. So I think the system is very clever in that it's only going to be really used when you are your engine is cold and you shouldn't be driving hard anyways. Second, I'm sure if you were to floor it because for some reason you just had to have 1100 horsepower in that moment, they'll close this off and they'll allow that exhaust gas to be routed through the turbocharger. So there's a logic built into it to incorporate the scenario that you're driving in. So once the engine is warm and you no longer need to heat up uh, this main catalytic converter to get it functioning, you close off this pre-catalytic converter and all of your exhaust then passes through your turbocharger and then through the main catalytic converter, which is sized appropriately for this engine. So you no longer have to worry about that initial problem we discussed of having a pre-catalytic converter that is always creating a restriction on your entire exhaust system. Here, it's only there at the very beginning when your engine is cold and then once things are warmed up, you bypass it completely. The main catalytic converter does its job and helps convert those harmful emissions and you size it appropriately for the system so you can make those crazy high horsepower numbers. Now Koenigsegg claims this frees up over 300 horsepower 
for this engine, which is absolutely nuts. And another very cool thing about this exhaust is that they claim, at least when this came out, that they were the only high powered turbocharged engine where the exhaust pressure was actually lower than the intake pressure as a result of incorporating this system. So they said that, for example, if you were to have 1.5 bar of pressure in your intake manifold, they would have about 1.3 bar of pressure less than the intake manifold in the exhaust manifold. Versus traditionally, if you were to do this, you know, using a system like this, you'd have something like 1.5 bar in the intake manifold and then 2.5 bar in the exhaust manifold. And of course, the problem with that, having a higher pressure on this side versus this side means that you're going to force some of that exhaust gas to remain in the cylinder. It heats up the cylinder. It means you've got less air and fuel to work with. It means you've got less boost to work with. The hot cylinder means you have to pull timing so you don't run into knock. And all of this means you start to lose power. So that's why this system can free up over 300 horsepower because there are cascading effects of having this pre-catalytic converter in line with the turbocharger and always creating that restriction. So it's very cool what Koenigsegg came up with, how to create this street legal 1100 some horsepower engine. Now again, a big thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. I actually bought a Simply Safe system several months ago after talking with some friends who had recommended it while moving into my new home. The system is super easy to use and install. I probably spent about 30 minutes getting the entire system operating. Having the ability to check on my phone at any time that my house isn't on fire, that the front door and the garage door are both closed, that there's no water leaking in my basement, that the temperature isn't near freezing in my house so I don't have to worry about pipes bursting, it all helps with peace of mind. Everything is professionally monitored 24-7, it even works in the case of a power outage, and there's no contract to get locked into with fair monthly pricing. I also love the doorbell camera, which allows me to see when packages arrive and also records any motion. So if someone were to try and steal my packages, I would get a video of that. There are all kinds of different sensors, as I've already touched on, and others including glass breaking sensors or motion sensors that are pet friendly and allow you to adjust the sensitivity. You can check out Simply Safe using the link in my video description. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below. Thanks for watching.